How do you know that you are under attack of the spirit of jealousy? Or how do you know that the spirit of jealousy, these spirits I'm sharing with you, they are so cunning that you want to notice they're after you. Actually, some of you think there is an individual who hates you because you do not have discernment of spirits. People think, ah, Papa, I want God to open my eyes. I want, I want to be seen in the spirit. You cannot see what you don't know. This is why we say to people, sit down, learn. That you have learned all these teachings I've been teaching you here about all the spirits. If you really are wise, you will now go back one by one to start studying and understanding personally. When you are chatting with the people, you'll be knowing that this one has this spirit, that one has that spirit. That one. Just by chatting with the people, sitting with the people, ministering to people, just having an association with the people, you'll be able to know this one has that spirit. And that knowing is called discernment. In Greek, it is called dokimazo, dokime. Yes, Krino. Anacrino. Hey. <laughs> All right, it's a story of another day. But you cannot, you see, people are like, ah, Papa, I want impartation. I guess look at people like, do you know how it, do you know what it took me? I can prophesy. Okay? The Bible says, but add this. On understanding, add wisdom. On wisdom, add knowledge. You need to know things. I don't, I don't think someone who follows my ministry, you, you follow this ministry, and you, you sit in a bus and you're chatting with a person who actually has a spirit, a perverse spirit, and is even hugging you. If I, if I notice that this person has got a spirit, it's a perverse spirit. I won't even shake your hand, trust you me. Because I know it's contagious. The spirit of Antichrist. How, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Who? Who? Who are you? Who? You see, so I want you to have discernment. Have discernment. No. You hear me? Yes. You must have what? You must have discernments. You must know. Are you understanding? Yes. Hey, like you, just looking at you like that. It's a story of another day. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> just just looking at you. Just just looking at you. I see jealousy. I'm telling you. And I know you don't even know. If I ask you now, you would be like, I don't know. Do you know that there's jealousy somewhere? Come, come here. I don't know which country you're from, but come over here. Whatever country you're from, just, do you know there's jealousy around you? No. You don't know. <laughs> she, she's, she's not even aware. Ah, you don't know there's jealousy around you? No. You don't know? No. Switch on the microphone. I think so. I'm going to use my own microphone. It's okay. The least jealousy. You see, <laughs> I love this lady. There's jealousy. I don't know. I don't know what, it, what, what, what this could mean, but I see something like a white person around you. He's my husband. Huh? He's my husband. Your husband is a white person. Yes. I don't know what it meant. I saw a white man around you, and, and you say that's your? My husband. Huh? My husband. Ah, there is jealousy. There's jealousy. There's someone right now thinking, what is, why? <laughs> <laughs> why her?
By the time we are done with the teaching, you, you will learn something and you will know what I'm talking about. So, you sit, learn my teaching. After teaching, I will now ask you, are you going to tell me like, I think now I know. So, sit down and enjoy. All right. Are you ready, somebody? Yes, yes Major. All right. Let's do it. By the way, by the way, uh, I'm looking for someone in the conference room who I can also prophesy to. But looks like they're very happy uh, to an extent that they're just smiling. <laughs> prophesy. <laughs> Say amen. 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 So how do you, how can a person notice? How can you notice that I got a problem I have a problem. It's either that jealousy is in me or somebody has jealousy. Now, you may not know it because there is no discernment. People without discernment, they just think that one hates me or these things, uh, these things are moving in this way because of that. You guess, but hear this teaching. You will notice something. If you, if you think of jealousy, or you think is someone maybe uh, feeling... Um, you know, jealous of hear this teaching. How does the spirit of jealousy manifest? Number one, let's go to the scripture. We're gonna go to the book of Genesis. Genesis. If you don't deal with jealousy, the spirit of jealousy, you will see. Some of you are in a mess today because you didn't realize there was jealousy being worked behind the scene. And there is so much jealousy around you. Not by people, but the spirit. You're not dealing with the people here. You are dealing with the spirit of jealousy. Now, we're going to see in the book of Genesis, chapter 4, from verse 4 to 6. And I want you to see what happened. All right? I want you to see what happened. And, and I want you to see something. Right? I want you to see something. And we're going to read louder. And we're going to make a short prayer that, God, I want to understand this teaching much even better. Now, watch this. Let's see something. Say the spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy. I want you to see if you don't deal with jealousy, if you don't deal with this spirit, the end result. Watch this. The Bible says what? Abel or Saul brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. Verse 5. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. Verse 6. So the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? Alright. Did you see that? Did you see that? Let's, let's stop on verse 6 first. Did you see that? Yes, Major. The man became angry. He says, why did your countenance change? He says, God answered who? Abel. Abel. And not who? Not Ken. And the man, these are brothers. But the Bible says, actually Cain, I mean Abel, didn't realize that the brother is angry. But God realized it. Some of you, you're not even aware of who is angry with you. Raise up your hands and pray to God. Say, God, help me to understand. Pray that God should open your ears. Make a short prayer. Make a short prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to understand. Maro teke paladiato. Sefronte karuna basku fradiate. Zika palona savia tanto radiate skel fradiga doska. Prayer, 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 prayer. Manzo teke pelete. Eronantia fronte karuna diazoske. Palunaza adula diatoska frontelidos kiata. Zika kaluna naska frate. Zedia manto paluna karuske dia. Irota kapalona skebe. In the name of Jesus. Marade kabaloneke zuta takatu ya mantele dia zekia katuska pa parene nene zedete karudeskia zunta radia ko jaka kapala kataya marede debo santelia zuta kapaya katia may there be the spirit of understanding as we deal with the spirit of jealousy maso tekele bala sharada sharaya merete tele palone zuntele gia arona kia toska zofrante 
Shalia arude gia sute kete shere teke yekerete ratia manto parona sa iya toshka sherika kuya katia mantere boskata shaka kaka kataya clap us and pray clap us and pray may the Lord give you understanding as we handle the spirit of jealousy marata kapaya shantele geya retete ke yantoria usadia palona ska sherika tuya may there be a spirit of insight as we deal with the spirit of jealousy help me oh god with insight understanding marata kapaya sharere rebosata kapaya maruka ya katuya mante reboskata shereno yokotia karuna suta kapaya prayer 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 marabosata ya maya amen amen oh yeah thank god that he hears our prayer when we pray and I believe that he has heard every person prayer and your ears are open. Amen. Now, I want you to see the scripture here. The Bible says, and they made two men, and this is Cain and Abel, and they go to offer sacrifice. You hear that? Yes. And one person sacrifice, God respected his prayer and his offering, yes. and another person, God did not respect that's what happens. Can you imagine another person goes to another man of God for prayer? Then nothing happens. Then they come to Major One. A miracle happens. That's where the problem starts now. Yes, Major. If you don't deal with the spirit of jealousy, it will finish you. Hear me. Now, so let's see the manifestation. Before we go into manifestation, let's continue reading. Okay? Let's continue reading. And the Bible says what? And the Bible says, verse 7, If you do well, you will, not, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. And its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. Verse 8. Eight. The Bible says, Now Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and killed him. If you don't deal with the spirit of jealousy, it goes as far as that. Now let's see manifestations. The manifestations of the spirit of jealousy, it's a spirit, it's a demon, and usually it has a plan when it has been sent by Lucifer to come against you and you're a woman or a man it may enter anyone it wants to enter to finish you this has nothing to do with a specific person it is a spirit it moves from one person to another it may just enter somebody and finish you Now let's look at it. Number one, manifestation. The first manifestation which we read from the scripture there is it is anger. Somebody say anger. anger. Hear me. The spirit of jealousy, the manifestation is anger. Anger. And unfortunately, people won't accept this. But hear me, if you have anger issues, anger issues, likely the spirit of jealousy works around you. Yes. Or if you are dealing with people or somebody who just gets hungry all the times against you. Yes. Somebody say anger. 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 I told you before, I was hated from my, my primary school. People had anger just against me. I told you that even one time I was not in school. I was not feeling well. I didn't go in class. I was home. My name was among the noisemakers. Major. 
I'm, I'm not. And I go, I go to school the following day, and I see the teacher saying, um, yesterday, those who were making noise, I want them to stand up. And my name is there. And I wasn't even in class. Jealousy. There was one person there who had anger against me. Just anger. But it was not the person. I knew exactly what was happening. There was a spirit of jealousy. Am I talking to you? Yes. It was what? It will send someone to start fighting you for no reason. And some of you are being fought by people and you don't even know why they fight you. There is an agenda in the demonic world. Yes. And they are using your boss. They are using your friend. Yes. Just no reason or whatsoever they are fighting you. There is somewhere, somewhere they monitor you. They know your future. They know your future. And they are sending people to mess you up. It is a spirit. If you don't deal with it, trust you me, what they are seeing, which you don't see yourself of your future, you will not see it. Am I to somebody here? Somebody say anger. And so you'll be attracting rage. If you see that happening around you, just know that there is something that the enemy is seeing about me that I'm not seeing it. And he's trying to use people to fight me. He's angry with you. You go on social media, ah, Bushiri, I hate him. Like so angry, like why are you so angry of Bushiri you have never met? So how we deal with them, you see how we deal with them? As we're not angry. Good overcomes evil. Am I talking to you? So we know how we deal with it. The moment, the moment, can you imagine if I'd be like, oh, they are saying this about me. Hallelujah. Today I want to address this thing. They're talking about me. It's not true. Me. For what reason? Do, do, do you know? I'm talking this thing to you because I, I see some of you here, you are facing it. People, somewhere, somehow, somebody just hates you. Yes. It is not that person I'm telling. If I can deliver that person, they'll stop hating you. It is not the person. It is what? Your own sister. You think she's not talking to you? Like, ah. Do you think that's possible? Do you think that's possible? God spoke to, to, God spoke to Cain. He said, actually, the demon already right now is standing at your door. Yes. Read that, that verse again. It says, the demon is the, the demon was already standing at the door. He says, "Be careful." There was other spirit standing there. He says, "Be careful." He says, "But rule over it." Anger, just anger. Are you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, Do you have somebody here who you have this moment of anger? Just some people have anger against you. You yes. don't even understand it. Yes, and, and another manifestation on the anger, it is hatred. Hatred. Someone say hatred. 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 You wake up in the morning just hated. I always tell men of God and women of God that pray. You will have people in church. People in church who sits in church like this and, and hate a man of God. You have people in church who sits there and hate the woman of God of the church. And they're in church. It is a spirit of jealousy. If you don't deal with it, it will deal with you. Say the spirit of jealousy. Spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy. I told you, there was a moment when I, I was so poor because I was coming from a poor family. 
You know, I told you this story before. My fa- I was born, my father was doing well when I was born until the war happened. And after that, we were refugees of war. We were hiding during our Operation Buezani. And after that, we, we, were so, we were living in a farm and we became so poor that even the poor were calling us poor. <laughs> Chronic poverty. And when God blessed me, you see, the same people who would hate you because you're poor, they would laugh at you because you're poor, you know, laugh at you because, and when God begins to bless you, they begin to have this hatred. Some of you have not seen anything. If God begins to bless you, God of Major One, this year, as He begins to bless you, it will attract the spirit of jealousy. How, how, how can he buy a jet? Is it an issue of a how? <laughs> the spirit of jealousy, if you don't handle it, tell the neighbor next to you, say, we need to deal with this spirit now. We need to deal with this spirit The only thing I keep on saying that people don't know this. And I want you to know this. Deal with every spirit that is coming on your way. Oh, yes. Deal with it. Somebody say hatred. hatred. You just hated. You are not dealing with the people at that level. Myself, I know. Definitely, I know. There are people who have got anger against me. Hatred against him. I know exactly what I'm dealing with. I don't say, Father, I pray for people to stop talking about me. I'm praying for them. Oh, God, stop them. Oh, Lord, shut their mouth. No, I come and say, you spirit of jealousy. I bind you and I make you useless. So no matter how they talk, no matter what they say, nothing happens to me. The Bushiri effect. No problem. You can say anything you want to say. Nothing will happen. The Bushiri. Do you know why? Because we don't deal with the people. We know it's not the people we are dealing with. Yes, there is a spirit behind them. And it is a spirit of jealousy. When I was poor, nobody was asking me a question, where is your poverty coming from? When I have money, they don't ask a question, where is your money coming from? Are you, are you normal? Like seriously, when I was poor, I had no money, I had nothing. I was walking like this and nobody was asking me a question, where are you getting your poverty? Now I have money. You are asking me questions. Where do you get your money? We want to know, no, 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 something is wrong. Why were you not saying something is wrong with my poverty? It is jealousy. Yes, yes. Jealousy. Yes. It's a spirit. Can you imagine when I was poor? Ah, you didn't hear me. Yes. Nobody, when I was poor, when I was poor, nobody was investigating my poverty. <laughs> but because I have money, I'm making money, they want to investigate it to say, where is he getting the money? We want to know. It is a spirit of jealousy. Yes. This is why I, I don't tell people the business I do. I keep them guess. Let them stay like that. Let them be guessing. Maybe he's into this. Maybe he's into this. Because the moment they know it, they want to know, ah, I did that mistake in another country. <laughs> they destroyed everything. Major. I'm not going to do that mistake again. Major. Did I say in a country here? No, 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 no. <laughs> the country jealousy, if you mention. It's a spirit of jealousy. Yes. <laughs> Never allow people to know what you do. I have learned so many good lessons. Yes. That's why I'm a spiritual father. Yes. I must experience it so I can teach you. <laughs> so that you don't go through it.
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. It's so shocking. I had nobody investigating me. I was walking, using a bicycle. Nobody was asking me, where did you get your bicycle? <laughs> Just getting a plane. Where did you, where did you get the money? Ah, ah. It is a spirit of jealousy. Why you? Why her? Why him? It's not the people we are dealing with. There is a spirit behind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why until today you're not going to see nothing. I'm not showing nothing about Goshen City. Where we are now, what we have built so far, what I am quiet. One billion percent mute. <laughs> oh, are you hearing what I'm saying? There is nothing going on, actually. <laughs> we are building nothing. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody said the spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy. Say it again. Say the spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy. Ah! <laughs> are you understanding or you are still lost? Yes. Are you here, everybody? Yes. Say after me, I'm here, prophet. I'm here, prophet. Say hatred. hatred. You will be hated. Yes. Because it's not the people who are hating you. Sometimes demons, you see, demons have got what is called uh, demonic intelligence. Mm. Demons know your future. Do you hear me? Yes. Demons have got intelligence. This is why before Moses was born, they already knew who Moses will be. Mm. Moses will be a prophet. So they already, there was hatred against him. Before the boy was born. And demons went into the king. And said kill every boy. And the king made a ruling. To say every boy that will be born now. Must be killed. The whole. System. Changed. Every boy must be killed. Who was the target? Moses. Moses. If you don't deal with the jealousy. Destinies will be killed. Destinies will be aborted. And some of you were supposed to be far. But there was somewhere Genesis disturbed you. You don't even know it. Your name was even there. Proposed there. Someone said, no, 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 not this one. Why? So if you don't deal with it, it's still around you. Whenever something is about to happen, the spirit of jealousy will just from nowhere, it will work against you. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Name of oh, Jesus. Every demonic spirit of jealousy. Every demonic spirit of jealousy. I bind you now. I bind you now. And I cast you out. And I cast you out. We need to engage in serious spiritual warfare. Are you hearing me, somebody? We need to do what? Serious spiritual warfare. Yes. Some here. here. Can we go ahead? Can we go ahead? Let's see another manifestation. Revenge. Revenge. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Uh, can you imagine? I remember, you know, we, we had a certain project. We're doing a certain project. And um, that's what happens in other countries. 
people get shot in the car because they want a contract. And there, it is actually, according to them, it was supposed to be them to win the contract. And people get shot. That person will see. What did the person do? Nothing. But they feel like they must revenge. It is a spirit of jealousy. Before we continue, let's read some few scriptures, uh, more scriptures. Now, I want you to see Genesis 37, verse 3, 4, and 8. Genesis 37, verse 3. The Bible says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age. Or so he made him a tunic of many colors. That's Jacob. He loved Joseph more than all his children. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 4. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. And verse 8. And his brother said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Did you hear that? Can you imagine these are biological brothers? What more with you? Do you know how many people hate your dream? Some of you have got a business proposal. You have got a project you're doing. There are people who hate you. It is a spirit of jealousy. And what did they do? They revenged. They sold him. They said, no, 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 no. Kill him. The first proposal was to kill him. They threw him in a pit. Then they had to negotiate. <laughs> Some said the spirit of jealousy. People are negotiating right now how to deal with you. <laughs> like, put, put this woman in a pit. Put this project, this ministry. Put this person's business. And hear me. They will look at you. These are brothers. They will be laughing with you. You know, the spirit of jealousy is the most cunning spirit. You won't even notice that even they come and befriend you just to finish you. I'm like, hey, I don't know why that lady you nowadays she's just so good to me. She is not good to you. The spirit of jealousy. Am I talking to you? Are you speaking to me? Yes, Major. Or I'm speaking to you? Answer my question. Are you speaking to me? Or I'm speaking to you? I'm speaking to you? Yes. So what I'm talking is true? Yes. Okay. If you are not careful, can you imagine the Bible says, and his, can you all great men of God in the Bible, the devil wasn't coming through Goliath. It was a spirit of jealousy. I will show you. Even in Jesus, he's just two days old. The first spirit to face was a spirit of jealousy through King Herod. He said, you say this boy will be what? He said, this boy will be a king. He said, a king? In Israel, he said, he will be a king. He said, no, 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 no. no. He said, soldiers, kill all the children. The first attempt that Jesus faced was not a demon of death. A demon of whatever. No, no, no. It was a spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy will give birth to all other things of destruction. All weapons of mass destruction to finish you. It could be anger. It could be hatred. Revenge. All this will be, all other demons will come out from the spirit of jealousy. Until they finish you. Whatever was taken out of you out of jealousy, I decree it shall come back. Every destiny which you lost out of jealousy, I speak you shall be restored. I say you shall be restored. Another manifestation. Witchcraft. Somebody say witchcraft. Witchcraft. 
witchcraft. They look at you, you're doing well than them. Or things are happening better. They say, no, 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 no. We need to stop this man. Some of you, there is a spell which was cast against your family. And you have no idea. A spell was made against you. She will see. You will see. Jealousy. Are you, are you hearing what I'm telling you? Yes. Do you know? Do you know what happened? The Bible says, and there was a person by the name Barak. Who was jealousy over the people of Israel? Are you understanding what I'm, I'm saying to you? Why they were blessed? So he hired a prophet who was a witch by the name Balaam to do magic to curse the people of Israel because one person had jealousy over them. And the people of Israel, they were walking, coming from, uh, from Egypt, going to Israel, without knowing there are people doing magic against them. Just like you, you may not even have an idea. You keep on moving. There are people casting spells, doing magic against you, against your marriage, against your calling, against what you do, against your business. There are people casting and this is a manifestation of the spirit of jealousy yes. i want you to raise up your voice and say every spirit of jealousy every spirit of jealousy i command you come out of my way i command you come out of my way in jesus name in jesus name some say witchcraft are you hearing me spells cursing you somebody went if you remember in 2015 2015 in south africa 2015 remember that person who came with his with his one side swollen he said they took my picture to a witch doctor to say we want this person to finish and they received a lightning a slap together with the witch doctor and they came to church in, 20, in 2015 to, to, to say, uh, this is a witch doctor. I went to this person because we wanted to do a charm against you. And we are slapped. <laughs> That's the day I told you that if you touch me by mistake, <laughs> you will die by collection. You hear me? <laughs> Touching some of us is a license yes. to premature death. <laughs> we are protected by God. Yes. Hallelujah. Heavily defended. Yes. Are you understanding what I'm talking to you? Yes. Some say, I'm heavily, I'm heavily defended. Say touching me. Touching me is a license. Is a license for premature death. For premature death. <laughs> witchcraft so they cast spells you have no idea what is happening on youtube on all those things people are talking about us it is witchcraft and i know most people you don't even you think people are just talking they are not just talking they are trying to cast spells in the spirit that what they're talking about us must happen it will never happen do you know why because we know what we're dealing with it is a spirit of jealousy it is a spirit. You. You think they're just talking about you. Like, oh, that person. No, the spirit of jealousy will enter them. And they'll begin to talk about you. As they're talking about you, they are creating it. So that what they think and what they are saying should really happen in the natural. So if you don't deal with it, it will really happen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Somebody say, I command that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Powerless. Powerless. Witchcraft spirits. Invoked by a spirit of jealousy. And now when we talk about witchcraft, black magic. Black magic. Can you imagine people doing a just, they, they can't just wake up in the morning and do magic against you. There must be jealousy. 
There must be jealousy. They can't just wake up in the morning and say, no, 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 let's stop this woman. She's moving too fast. There must be jealousy. Someone told me, say, oh, witchcraft is in Africa. Are you seeing now? In America now, they are leading now on witchcraft. They are doing it on TV. In every song they are doing now, you will see witchcraft happening in a music, in a music video. They'll be doing witchcraft in, in, a, in a music video. They're no longer hiding it. At least in Africa, you... you In Africa, in Africa, there's no evidence. <laughs> in America, they're doing it like now they're showing it. You saw in Brazil, not even hiding it, doing it live during the day in Brazil. People filling a stadium, celebrating it. Wow, doing it during the day. I'm telling you now, people thought, in Europe, they are leading now on witchcraft. They are leading on black magic, and they are white. <laughs> For no reason, you are in a train. So someone is casting a spell on you. You are in a train. Someone is casting a spell against you. I'm telling you. You are in America, you are walking in the streets. You're walking in the street. Someone is casting a spell. Someone is doing witchcraft on you. It is getting crazy. But I have to tell you this. Yes. We are God's people. Yes. And we have the power of Jesus. Yes. The weapons of our warfare are not from this world. Yes. No, they are mighty through God. Yes. Pulling down every stronghold. Yes. And every argument yes. rising itself yes. against the knowledge of God. Yes. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Now look at that. So, revenge, anger, hatred, witchcraft, gossip. Someone say gossip. You are in church, you are busy. Wave your beautiful hands, or your holy hands. Oh, hallelujah. God of major one, we thank you. Oh, Abba Father. Behind you, there are people talking about you. <laughs> they are discussing about you. Can you imagine? They'll be talking about nonsense things about you, eh? They'll be talking about your hands. To be discussing about your hair. <laughs> and they don't even know. But hear me. It's an evidence that there is a spirit of jealousy working against you. Yeah. Don't just be angry with them. Because you don't know what's going on in the spirit. The devil has already foreseen your destiny like Jesus. When he was born, they already knew where he was going. And what he would become. And they want to stop you. And the gossip is just a manifestation. But the real thing is the spirit of jealousy that is working against you. And tonight we rebuke that spirit. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. How come they discuss about your family? They are discussing about your family. Can you imagine? They're talking about your family. And you think that they're just talking. They are not just talking. There is a spirit behind. They are talking. It's just a manifestation. If you can now think properly, you will now realize, oh, now I see it. Sometimes it manifests against me through my husband. You just be so angry with me for no reason. Sometimes through my wife, she should be angry without no reason. Sometimes my own children... And sometimes it manifests through people gossiping about me. Sometimes it manifests by people. They are just hating me. I have done nothing wrong. They will just hate me. So what is happening? There are weapons of mass destruction which have been sent through one spirit of jealousy. And this spirit of jealousy is sending different spirits. Hatred, anger, gossip, 
witchcraft. So many things are happening around you and you're there. Am I speaking to you? Am I speaking to you? Are you hearing what I'm saying? We need to do this spirit tonight. It must leave you alone. It must leave your career, your business, your ministry, your calling, everything about you. This spirit must go out of your children, out of your business. This spirit must leave now. Things are not just happening around you. Like, oh, they hate me. Some of you are poor today because of this spirit. It just made people hate you. Anger. There is witchcraft. There are a lot of things and you don't even know why your life is not moving. You are stuck in one position because the spirit of jealousy has been sent. You are looking for other bigger spirits. There's just one spirit of jealousy just on the corner. Just looking at you and say, you are under my control. We need to smoke this spirit out of your house. Like, what did you do? What wrong did you do? Are you following? Yes. Let's read a few more other scriptures. Right? Proverbs 6, verse 34. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 34. For jealousy is a husband's fury. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Did you hear that? Now, let me give you an NIV. Go back, NIV. NIV. For jealousy arouses a husband's fury. And he Did you hear that? Jealousy. What makes a husband angry? I will not talk much for that. <laughs> I just want you to see these things. It says, for jealousy arouses the husband's anger. And the word you use there is not that just the word anger, fury. And that's so dangerous. So shocking, eh? A husband can be caught with a woman. The wife will forgive the, the husband. But try, you wife, try. <laughs> Jealousy arouses the husband's fury. The husband is more jealousy than a wife. The Bible says that jealousy arouses what? And he shows no mercy. See, see, see. Read what the Bible says over there. It says what? For jealousy arouses a husband surely. And he will show no mercy when he takes revenge. Are you seeing what is breaking marriages? The spirit. The spirit of jealousy in the husband. <laughs> Now, are you following somebody here? <clears throat> now, so if you've seen the Bible there, the Bible says jealousy. What does it give birth there in the marriage? Jealousy gives birth to what? To anger and then revenge. Did you see that? Yes. Jealousy arouses what? The husband's anger and then revenges. So the spirit of jealousy, can you see manifestation? Anger, revenge. There are people right now who wants to revenge. And you have done nothing wrong to them. So what happens is this. I want, I want you to open, I want to open your eyes. Can I open your eyes more? Yes. This is what happens when the spirit of jealousy comes. I want you to stand up, come over here. And I want you to stand up, come over here. This is what happens with the spirit of jealousy. Okay? Now, look at this. So, this one has done nothing wrong. Okay? This one has done nothing what? Wrong. wrong. So a spirit comes here. 
You hear me? Through people. It will, it will enter one person. All right? It will enter a person. Are you hearing me? Yes. Then the person will come to this one. With manifestation of jealousy is gossip. You remember? Yes. One of manifestation is what? Gossip. So the spirit will enter a person. The spirit of jealousy will enter on a person. And the person will come to gossip this one to this one. Ah, that, that person... He was saying this about you. He was saying, and it's not even true. But it is manifesting through me with what? Gossip. And then this one becomes what? Angry. Another manifestation. The spirit of jealousy, gossip, then anger. Then this one will do what? Revenge. So some of you are being revenged on what you don't even know. You are being mistreated. You have done nothing wrong. You don't even know where it is coming from. Some people are just angry with you, are revenging things. You don't even notice. You may be seated. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of jealousy. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. you would be so shocked, some of you. You're working there and you find your boss just angry with you. Like what, what, what's going on? What's happening? People are taking revenges on what you don't even know. Like, what have I done? There are bad reports about you. Do you know how many people come to me to say, Papa, ah, your son. Ah, 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 ah. Papa, your son hates you. I can't believe it. Yesterday he called me. He's like, ah, Papa is fake. <laughs> I look in the eyes. I see a spirit of jealousy. Amen. I see a spirit of jealousy. I say, this is, this is nonsense. So you, it, is you, it is actually you who needs help, my son. What do, you, what do you think? Ask. My sons will tell you that, hey, if you go to Papa with a spirit of jealousy, you go, you come back delivered. Do you know how many people come to my wife and they say, Mama, 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 your daughter. Do you know? Do you, do you know? But now I'm just giving this example to us, but we're talking about in general life. Do you know how many people are talking about you on what you don't even know? Do you know? Do you know? And you have no idea. You never said it, and though in fact it was actually them who came to you with a story. They're like, "Oh, this, 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 this is uh, this thing is happening here," and maybe you just commented something. They changed the whole story as if it was you who was telling them. They're like, "Oh, oh, oh, the way, the way, Papa, that one was talking about you." <laughs> Storytellers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Someone said the spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy. It has nothing to do with them. Mm. It is all about your destiny. Yeah. The spirit of jealousy is a destiny killer. The spirit of jealousy is a ministry killer. It is an identity killer. It is a career killer. It kills people. Millionaires today are poor. There are people that were supposed to be millionaires by now. They can't be because when they actually don't even understand why the business transaction didn't go through. They don't even know why until today they can't buy that land. They don't understand why this thing, something happened. Something happened. There was a jealousy somewhere. And you have no idea. Somebody say, I overcome you today. Say you are exposed. You are exposed. Say you spirit of jealousy. You spirit of jealousy. You are exposed. You are exposed. And I rebuke you now. And I rebuke you now. Now I want you to check uh, from the book of Proverbs again. Chapter 10 verse 12. Chapter 10 verse 12. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 12. 
Hatred stirs up conflict. But love covers all over wrongs. Hatred. Did you see that? Yes. Stirs up conflicts. Did you see that? Yes. What it gives birth to conflicts? Hatred. Where does hatred come from? Jealousy. Are you seeing the chains, how these things move? Yes. So you want, even though know it is jealousy, people hate you. Don't even know why they're hating you. Some of you, people gossip you. You don't even know why they're gossiping. Even in them, they don't even know why they're gossiping about you. It is to stir up anger. They don't even know. They're just being used by a spirit just to mess you up. They are people who gave up to destiny because of what people are talking about them. Yeah. They are people who left church because people were saying this about them. There are people who actually left what they were supposed to be because someone told them something. And it is all a game of the devil to destroy people, especially strong people. They are all defeated by a spirit of jealousy. And unfortunately, they likely fall. They fall by it. Somebody said, not me. Say not anymore. Say not anymore. Say I secure myself. I secure myself. I protect myself. I protect myself. I cover myself. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Karadosha, Maraka, Zitozi, Raka, Shafe, Rakinta, Satoja. The spirit of jealousy is breaking all its cords. I said it's breaking all its codes. It is breaking all its codes. Say hallelujah. Can I show you something? Can I show you another thing? Let's go to Proverbs again. Uh, as we sue there. Uh, we have a few minutes to finish our teaching for tonight. Let's go again to Proverbs um, chapter 14, verse 16. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 16. The wise fear the Lord and shun evil, but a fool is hot headed and yet feels secure. Now, again, as we're still there, I want to connect that verse to. Go, go verse 17. Go verse 17. Verse 17. A quick-tempered person does foolish things. And the one who devises evil schemes is hated. Now, I want you again to go to Numbers chapter 5, verse 14. And we're going to jump and again read verse 30. Numbers chapter 5 verse 14. King James Version. And the spirit of jealousy come upon him and he be jealous of his wife. Now I want you again to read. Say that again. And what? And the spirit of jealousy. Did you hear that statement? Yes. And what? The spirit of jealousy. And what? A spirit of jealousy. It is actually a spirit. It is actually a spirit. Uh -huh. Read what happens if it comes upon him. The Bible I mean, says he be jealous of what? His wife. Of his wife. And she be defiled. Or if the spirit of jealousy come upon him and he be jealous of his wife and she be not defiled. Verse 30. Or when the spirit of jealousy cometh upon him and he be jealous over his wife, and shall set the woman before the Lord, and the priest shall execute upon her all this law. Did you see that? He says, if the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of jealousy, is actually a spirit. It will just, you are chatting properly. It will just come upon you. Who are, who are you chatting with? <laughs> it is a what? It's a spirit. You're just okay. You're just chatting nicely. Like, ah. 
What's happening? Let me see. <laughs> Come again. Let me have your password. <laughs> now, so the spirit, it is a spirit of jealousy. Now, I want you to, to notice this. You need to know how to deal with the spirits. Because you see, they are evil spirits. This what we're sharing here with are evil spirits. What I'm talking about. Can you imagine you? Can you imagine? Just hear this. Can you imagine you have done nothing wrong? But people are hating you. You have got anger issues, rage against you. You have got high tempers against you. And you have no... You see, now, another manifestation is murder. Murder. People are killed. Destinies are killed because of jealousy. Jesus survived a murder attempt. There was an assassination plotted for Jesus because Herod was jealousy. And some of you, your destinies are killed. Your projects are killed. Because of the spirit of jealousy. Someone was about, he was uh, going to, for an interview at the embassy. And he told his friend, he said, uh, tomorrow I'm going to interview. I've been picked uh, to go for um, a workshop in the United States of America. So he told a friend, so I'm going tomorrow morning. In the afternoon, the friend called the embassy. And said, my friend is coming, there's a terrorist. So the person went there. The person went there to the interview and he was denied the visa. So the person came to me for prayer. And I gave a prophecy in 2012 here. Uh, the Industry Center MCB building. I said, you, you went to the embassy. He said, yes. I said, you were looking for visa. He said, yes. He said, you made a mistake. I said, who is this person? He said, he's my best friend. I said, listen, you, when you went there, I said, what did they say to you? They asked me if I've been in any Islamic country. I said, do you know why? She said, no. Didn't they ask you if you're a Muslim? Said, I, they asked me. I said, are you a Muslim? Said, no. I said, now let me tell you, your own friend. Before you went there, made a call that you were a terrorist. How many of you did the people make a calls that you don't even know? And after that, when this guy received the prophecy, the following day he went to work. The first person to ask, how were the interviews? Were the best friend. Murder. The trip was canceled. The person didn't even go there. His destiny was destroyed because of the spirit of jealousy. There are some of you here, you don't even know what is going on around your lives. But there's a spirit of jealousy. Women have lost marriages because of the spirit of jealousy. And men have lost marriages because of the spirit of jealousy. Churches have closed because of the spirit of jealousy. Destiny is lost because of the spirit. Business is destroyed because of the spirit of jealousy. What I'm sharing with you is your information. What you do with it is up to you. I'm just telling you. Whether you want to remain like that or to do something about it is up to you. But if you are clever tonight, you're going to command this spirit to become useless and powerless. Amen. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit of jealousy. Every spirit of jealousy. Come out. Come out. Song of Solomon chapter 8 verse 6. Song of Solomon or Song of Songs. Chapter 8 verse 6. 
The Bible says, set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm, for love is strong as death. Jealous is cruel as the grave. Mother. Say, say mother. Mother. The, the cause thereof. A cause of fire which hath a most vehement flame. Jealousy kills destinies. It is as equal as a grave. I'm telling you today, some of you are already in the graves of jealousy. You are already buried in the graves of jealousy. You need help. You don't even know what's going on. Wherever you go, people hate you. Whatever you do, people rise against you. It's like there's gossip everywhere you go. You don't even know why. It is because the enemy, the devil knows your future. Yes. And he's after killing it. He knows who you are. He knows what you can become. He knows your family. He knows your business. He knows your calling. He knows your ministry. If he's doing it with Major One, he's also doing it with you. If they killed Jesus on the cross because of jealousy, who do you think you are? Jesus was nailed on the cross because of jealousy. They said, who do you think you are? He said, you think you're a king of the Jews. They killed him. Praise God for the Holy Spirit. He, he rose on the third day. Some say, I will rise again. Jealousy. There are people buried in the graveyards right now. People. Destinies are in the graves of jealousy. Futures of people buried in the graves of jealousy. You don't even know who you are anymore. You're even confused. Like, I don't even know who I am anymore. Say, I have accepted the way I am. Shut up. That's not who you are. Let's watch after tonight. How you will resurrect from that grave of jealousy. How you will shine again. How you will rise again. I receive. I see your destiny changing. I receive. Every jealousy has been para. I receive. Yes. yes, Major. Hallelujah. Now, there was one moment when people were so jealous of Israel. So they were, they were doing gossip, whatever. Do you know all the battles of Israel in the Bible? It was out of jealousy. Now, see this. How did they deal with jealousy? Isaiah 8 verse 10. See this. Look at this. People are gossiping. Now, look at this. This, I want you to be your verse tonight. Before you sleep, I want to give you a verse you must memorize and put in your heart. You will deal with the jealousy of this scripture. The Bible says what? Isaiah 8 verse 10. The Bible says, take counsel together and it shall come to nothing. Speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with us. Uh, NIV, read NIV. NIV. The Bible says, devise your strategy, but it will be thwarted. Propose your plan, but it will not stand, for God is with us. Good news. Translation. It says what? Make your plans. But they will never succeed. Talk all you want to, but it will, but it is all useless because God is with us. Make your plans against us, but they will never succeed. Talk all you want to, but it will all be useless because God is with us. Are you understanding what the Bible is talking about? 
Gossip as you can. Plan as you can. But why, why is Isaiah saying it? That's why God sent Isaiah as a prophet to come and deal with what they were talking by speaking it. Do, do you, are you understanding? If, if they were just like that, they would be finished. But they needed someone who could come and make a statement also in the spirit to deal with what they were talking about. To counterattack what was being discussed. So you too, if you just stay like this, you will be finished. Use your mouth and challenge what they're being said. Yes. You need to break the spirit of jealousy yes. by making a statement with your mouth. You need to say, you spirit of jealousy, speak a word, it shall come to nothing. Yes. That's what we use as some of us. We're still standing today because of that scripture. We say, say as you can. Talk as you can. Plan as you can. It shall come to nothing. For the Lord is with us. Why should I fear when I have you surrounded by your ways, your everlasting love? Why should I care what people say? They don't know what you mean to me. They don't know. They don't know. Oh, what you mean? I say they don't know. They don't know they're gonna call you. They don't know. Oh, what a man. Why should I care? Why should I fear? When I have you, the God of Major One, so remember your word. Your everlasting way. Why should I care what people say? They don't know. Somebody sing with me. They don't know what you mean to me. They don't know. They don't know. Oh yes, they will never understand. What you mean to me? Because they are not there when the God they call you. Know. The great God of our Father, Major One. That's why they will not succeed. They don't know what you mean to me. What do you mean to me? Use your mouth to challenge what they say. Don't just be watching as things are happening. What really happened? Some of you even got an interview. Some of you something happened. But you see, within the office, these people don't even know you. One woman just rose up and said, no, not that woman here. It is a spirit. You submit a tender. Just one man in the office. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, who? Who? It is not, nothing to do with a person. It is a prosperity. It is a spirit that is working against you. You need to deal with it. If you don't, it will finish you. It will finish you. It will finish you. You don't know, we deal with this spirit every day. Some of us, we deal with this spirit like every day. And we mastered. We know how to deal with it. We know. If you don't deal with it, it will finish you. It will finish you. Tonight, we need to break this spirit completely. Your, your, your life must move forward. I say your life must move forward. I said your life must move forward. I receive. Another manifestation. Competition. Somebody say competition. You're not competing with anyone and they're thinking you're competing with them. <laughs> you are not what? And they think you're what? And actually, they will be the first one telling people, ah, that woman, she likes competing with me. And you're competing with nobody. So that competition gives birth to jealousy. Like, ah, you see, I think he is after me. He wants to shop. 
yesterday. You know, one time I was uh, addressing uh, the, the same spirit. You know, I was helping someone. He said, uh, Papa, he's one of my sons. He said, Papa, uh, I want you to talk to my brother. I said, which brother? <laughs> then he mentioned the name of my, one of my pastors. He said, ah, Papa, if I, if I put on a black suit, him next week, you also buy exactly like that one. If I put on a blue one, then the following week, you also put exactly like that blue suit. Ask women. Actually, it's so common in women. Very common in women. I think this, this woman, I think, is under competition with me. <laughs> it is a spirit of jealousy. So it comes and people think you're competing with them and you're not even competing with anyone. Are you hearing me? Yes, Can you imagine somebody came to me and said like, Papa, oh no, one of your son wants to compete with you. He wants to be like you. I said, why? He said, he's trying to prophesy like you. He wants to talk. I'm like, hey. I'm like, no, no, no. Actually, I like that. It is my spirit upon my sons. Yes. Wow. And him, he was seeing competition. <laughs> the issue is he is not doing what they are doing. It's like, ah, Papa, Papa, you need to stop it now. Even tongues, they speak like you. If you can't speak my tongues, you can't speak them. <laughs> but you see this competition. Someone said competition. So people begin to feel that you are competing with them. One pastor in Pretoria, I had a church and he had a church within the same compound in our showgrounds. So I had a church here. There were like 26 churches, which eventually all of them became ECG. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it's a fact. So there were 26 churches around. Okay, so the men of God began to feel competition, and there was no competition being made. There was no competition, and they began to think competition, and they began to preach in church about me, talking false things about all oh, that boy. He's like this. So members in the church were now coming to see if what the pastors were saying is true. So when they come. And they sit at the back like this to say, ah, we are being told that he has got a snake. So they will come at the back to see the snake. And they begin to speak in tongues and they never spoke in tongues. And then I go on them and say, can I go to your house? <laughs> with my eyes open. And with my eyes closed. Nine months. Nine months. And the following Sunday. I see them again at the back. The other Sunday, they're in the middle. The other Sunday, they're in the, in the front. The other Saturday, they're at stewardship training. Arribiti! Arribiti, Rabata! Arugo, Ajo! There is no one there is no one like the great God of my father, Major. Somebody scream! Somebody say competition. It is a spirit of jealousy. Some of you people think you're competing. You are not competing with them. You, you don't even have nothing to do with your family. They think you're competing with your company, you're competing with your house, you're competing with them. And this is where now jealousy comes. And before you know it, people, you have done nothing wrong, they begin to hate you. And this is happening even in the church. And it's so bad. There are people today being hated and they did nothing wrong. Being hated and they did nothing wrong because somebody thought this competition. They thought you were competing and they began to hate you. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying with you? Listen to me. Competition is a spirit that is born out of the spirit of jealousy. Some of you in your workplace, your own family, people think you're competing. Do you know, do you know what happened with, with, with David? When David went to, to see his brother, he went to give them food. They thought it was competition. Like, ah, who told you to come here? Look at your life. No, read your purpose. The brothers had a problem with him. That you will do this even at home. You want to compete with us. To them, they thought it was competition. When David said, I can kill Goliath, to them it was competition. You have started now. <laughs> you have started now. It's like when you are telling people that, uh, you know, I, I see, you know, what time will come, I'll be a millionaire. They're like, you see? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Are you understanding? Yes, sir. It is a spirit. It is a spirit of jealousy. Very deadly. And if you, it is you being used against another person, you need deliverance. Come on, someone say, I hear you, prophet. Another manifestation cause divisions. Someone say, cause divisions. The spirit will cause divisions. There are some of you who are supposed to be, you know, good friends. You're no longer friends today. Because jealousy. Another person just came in and divided you. There are people that are supposed to be working together. They will never work together because always someone will come and divide them. Are you relating with your life? Hello? Are you understanding the teaching? Yes. Are you seeing? No, I'm talking to that lady over there. Yes, huh? Yes, what are you seeing now? You are huh? You are about talking about my life. I'm talking about your life? Yes. You can relate now? Yes, yes. At the first you said you don't know, right? <laughs> yes. And now? Yeah, now I know. Now you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I told you that you see these things you may not know until you you know and ah I think now I see this is happening because the devil sees my destiny. <laughs> Cause divisions. Can you imagine some you know some some of you you don't even know this. Somebody came to me is like eh, eh, <clears throat> eh, eh, you know I want to tell you something. I said huh? Okay, I'm hearing. He's like, uh, you know, uh, your spiritual father, Prophet Angel, this, that. It's a waste of time. You, you come to tell me. Don't, don't even start. You don't just start. I don't even start. I always tell you, my spiritual father, he's not my financial father. He's not my physical father. He is my spiritual what I look in him is the spiritual. Yes. The rest of my eyes are blind. Amen. He's my spiritual father. I already have my biological father at home. He is my spiritual father. When I look at him, I, what can I learn that can grow me? He said, don't come to me. But I knew it was a spirit of jealousy. Because if I had separated, I could not have grown the way I've grown spiritually. So I'm not like that. You don't separate me. Because I know the spirit of jealousy, the devil will say that this one, the way he's submitting to prophet angel, he will, he will be there. So I must go and stop him now. Because the devil, he, he knows. The devil is jealous of you. Do you know what he did? He went to Adam. He went to Eve. He knew that they were made in the likeness and in the image of God. And he was not like God. And he became jealousy. And he went to remove that. That's what the devil does. I said, no, don't talk nonsense to me about my spiritual father. You don't talk nonsense. My eyes don't see anything physical. Because I don't, can you imagine your Bible? 
if you should go now and start uh, uh, reading the physical life of David, will you read the Bible? A man who killed another, another man for the sake of his wife. If you go to, to, to about Moses, a man who killed a person and ran away. Moses. Elijah killed 400 people with a knife. Then we should go in the Bible and say, ah, uh, and uh, I'm removing Elijah in the Bible. Quack, quack. I'm removing Moses. Are you, are you, are you okay? Then you want to talk about Prophet Angel. You want to talk about this one. Oh, are you, are you mad? Me, I am a spiritual son. Not, I, I look at him and I learn. When I read this Bible, I don't go there and say, ah, oh, because Moses did this, I must do it again. You don't do like that. I go, I learn what I want to learn from the life of Moses. I go, I learn from David what I'm supposed to learn. That's, that's me. I'm not, I'm not a, a physical son. I am a spiritual son. The spirit of jealousy. Oh, did you? Hey, hey, your father. I could not become what I am today. Trust you me, I am what I am because that man, I learned something from him. He prayed for me. He prays for me. That's, that's who I am today. And I can't, oh, now because... Uh, if you do that to me, you can finish the statement in your heart. I'm not. I'm not. You do, don't even try. Don't even try it. I know the enemy. You see, for people to go, to be hiding, to interview a man of God, to do this whole propaganda is to destroy that person. Not because they want to destroy the person, but they want to destroy me who follows that person. So it's not his battle. It is a battle for his children. All set up and traps. Setups. It's for me, for my faith. Am I crazy? I have discernment of spirits. I know. What is happening? Uh, did you, hey, uh, hey, did you hear? In fact, yeah, I heard it and I read it and I saw it. <laughs> so what? <laughs> I'll show you that he's my spiritual father. He will walk out of this properly without nothing happening. Amen. That's when you will know that why I submit. He can meet trouble and walk out. Yes. I pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every spirit of jealousy causing divisions yes. shall not stand in your life. You are, some of you are divided. You are supposed, you had a destiny helper. Someone to help you. You are no longer having that person. Be careful when God gives you something important and precious. Pray for it. Because the spirit of jealousy will separate you out of it. And you don't do that to me. Me, you don't do that. You don't do that. The devil is jealousy. He knows, ah, this contract will make this man a millionaire. Before you know it, they're no longer picking their cause. Like, what is going on? <laughs> What is happening? What is happening? Cause divisions. You already knew I'm going to have this. This is my job. This is my thing. I'm going to, this is my husband. I'm getting married to this. Before you know it, the spirit of jealousy says, this woman gets married to this man. I will stop it now. Cause divisions. You need to pray against the spirit of jealousy. People have lost jobs. People have lost connections. People have lost wonderful people. People got fired from right people because of the spirit of jealousy which they did not deal with. Joseph was sold because of jealousy. Moses escaped death before he was even born because of jealousy. Jesus had to run away and hide in, in Egypt because of jealousy. Are you hearing me? Yes. Abel was killed because of jealousy. Stand up on your feet. 
Will you allow jealousy to finish you? We need to break the spirit of jealousy. Raise your hands where you are. I want you to make a decision. I'm telling you, these are teachings which they need you to repeat, to watch them again, to read your notes again, and pray for God to open up your eyes and make you understand. Many of you here, you are affected because you don't even know what the devil is using against you. Some of you, he's using a familiar spirit. Some of you, the spirit of heaviness. Some of you, the spirit of infirmity. Some of you, the spirit of poverty. Some of you, the spirit of error. Some of you, the spirit of jealousy. There are so many spirits being deployed to make sure they finish you. And you are living in the world. That's why the Bible says, Woe unto you, earth, for the evil one has come down to you. We are living in a place where you need discernment. Sharp laser discernment. And bring down everything that is coming against you. Raise up your hands and say in the name of Jesus. I challenge every spirit of jealousy. Working against me. In the name of Jesus. Now I want you to clap your hands and fire a prayer. Command and break every spirit of jealousy tonight. Command that spirit to come out. To leave your family. To leave your career, to leave your ministry, to leave your business, to leave your project, to leave your life, your family, by witchcraft break, by any argument, whatever you are using, whether you are coming by witchcraft, break, by envy, break, by competition, break, by gossip, break. Whatever you are coming by, break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Secure your destiny. Secure your destiny. Secure. Speak a word. Make a statement. Make a statement. Command in the name of Jesus. You are reversing it. You are rearranging things. You are changing things. Clap your hands and make a prayer. Clap your hands and make a prayer. Pero pro soto pro sopre tode, ire shakaraba, ire pro zonde ribre diadoche, ire koraba raba zapara da barato, ire to robo zapara da ba, karampa ranto rapranto seya, i so pro de rebo zi de reba. I reverse in the name of Jesus. I reverse in the name of Jesus. I reverse in the name of Jesus. Ero pa ro shata raparota, paro ko so robo ro diade, ira kasha karaba. I robo zoramba raba, I rashanta raba zivado, pereke rebe reba, I rashanta ya, I rashata ya, I rashata ya, I rashota roba ra, I zota raba zanda ra, I reke shereba, I rupa rande rebe zevereda, paranta ya daba, I rako shanta la, I rashakata, I zete redo zedarada, I branda branda raba zuda be, I rosh. Kotebade, Iriko Sayana, Iramba Shanda Rajosa, Ireke Serebrejeda, Irosho Torida, Iraka Subrandeleba, Ishakotaya Dujava, Irosondo Rigadaba. I stop you, spirit of jealous. 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 Fire prayer, fire prayer, fire prayer, fire prayer, fire prayer, Parako Sayanoma, Iresh. Keteredo, Iriso Baradaba, Para 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 Para, Irosho Torigade, Irusa Branda Rabasho, Izeke Torigado, Tarujan Torezeketa. I stop you, spirit of jealous. I stop you, spirit of jealous. I stop you, spirit of jealous. In the name of Jesus, Reshetere Bezepa, Para Kara Para Para, Ijo Terebezuvade, Merakush 
Jandelino, Isota Rakashaka, Irakusan de Reberuj, Isopra Telebre, Irakoshataraba, Parapashataraba. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I pray for everybody. Whatever destiny has been buried in the grave of jealousy, yes, it is being recovered tonight. I receive. It is being recovered tonight. I receive. I rebuke every force of jealousy. Yes. I cancel in the name of Jesus. Yes. And I decree and I declare. Yes. Acceptance to this person. I receive. This person will be accepted. I receive. Wherever they were hated, they shall be loved. I receive. Wherever there were competition, they will win. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. There shall be restoration over your life. I receive. Wherever there was gossip, there shall be joy. I receive. God shall bring joy upon you in the name of Jesus. I receive. People shall speak of what God has done for you. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Where there was murder, there shall be life. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Let them speak a word. Yes. It shall come to nothing. Yes. It shall come to nothing. Yes. Every witchcraft has has been broken. Broken. Every spell has been broken. Broken. I release you in the name of Jesus. I receive. I set you free in the name of Jesus. I receive. I set you free in the name of Jesus. I receive. I recover your destiny. I receive. I recover your identity. I receive. I recover your calling. I receive. I recover your money. I receive. I recover your position. I receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. 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 I receive. Clap your hands for the Lord if you can. Somebody. Rejoice, rejoice. Decree it is done. Come on. Where you are, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Decree it is done in the name of Jesus. Sharakapa. You are free wherever you are. You are free. You are free wherever you are. Wherever you are, you are free in the name of Jesus. You are free. You are free. You are free. Clap your beautiful hands. Clap them. Clap them. He has lifted you higher. Lifted you higher, higher, lifted you higher. Put your name in shame, higher, higher, higher we go. Higher, higher, higher. Our God has destroyed the enemy. He has put them in sleepy place. Celebrate your victory. Our Lord Jesus has destroyed the enemy. He has won the battle for us. The battle of gossip. Trying to bring you down. They will never reign again. Come on. He has lifted you higher. Higher you go. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. 